I don't know what's going on out there concerning Metroid Prime Remastered, but I have some thoughts and I just want to have this discussion with you guys as today's release date for the physical edition of the game. And it seems like a lot of people are having some troubles getting their hands on a copy, including myself. So I pre-ordered on Amazon when it first went live. And I don't remember if they had the release date on there. I think maybe it didn't because I never got an email saying, hey, uh, it's been delayed or anything like that. And then today comes along and I'm like, wait a minute. I haven't seen a shipping notification and you know, Amazon's hit and miss. You know, sometimes you get things release date, sometimes a little after I'll say, okay, maybe I'll get it at the end of the week. That's fine. I'm not tripping too much, but I double checked and it showed like my order was delayed till the middle of March. And I was like, what's going on here? I, I pre-ordered like right when it went up. I'm sure I wasn't one of the first people, but you know, pretty, pretty shortly after it went live, I was like, okay, so I'm going to have to search. Let me look on, on Best Buy. BestBuy.com. It's not available. Unavailable anywhere near me. Amazon. They. It, it's like sold out. It's sold out. You could look at the uh, buying options, and there's people reselling them for like 90 bucks. What the hell? I looked on Target.com, and I can't. I, I don't even find a listing for the game on there. Now it, it looks like there's an issue going on here. And I, I posted earlier, like, hey, is the physical edition hard to find? Did they just not ship many because they want people to buy digitally? And it seems like sometimes that may be the case. They they dropped this digitally first, but there wasn't that much of a time, you know, leap to the physical release. Sometimes the game will get a digital release, and then it'll be a long while before a physical edition even gets announced. So it was like, was it that fear of missing out? Like, hey, I want to play this immediately. Let me drop the $40 to buy it digitally or, you know, wait and get it a physical edition. Some people are fine with digital. For me, if I'm given the opportunity, I'm getting a physical copy. And there's a few reasons. I don't like having an accumulation of objects. It, it clutter does kind of suck. But when it comes to video games, I want to have a certain level of ownership to it. And... I understand you buy software of any type, essentially you're buying a, a license to play it. Like you don't really own it, but when it's a physical object that I can let somebody else play on their switch, uh, if, if I'm down and out and I can't put gas in my car, I could sell my copy of a game. If I have it digitally, I can't do any of that. It doesn't retain any value other than the value you get out of having it in your library to be able to play it. And that value is you know the, the highest level of value in my opinion, but being able to have it physically to be able to do more with it, to resell it if need be, to let somebody else play it. I, I hold that to a you know a, a very high high level of a standard for myself when it comes to deciding physical or digital. Hey, sometimes if a physical copy is like 40 bucks and a digital copy is like three dollars, like, as an example, like the PS4, uh, the Castlevania, there's a Castlevania collection, and it's like $35 at Best Buy, but digitally, it was on sale for like three bucks the other week. I bought it digitally. I was like, ah, oh, you know, that's cool. I'd prefer to have a physical copy, but you know what? That, that was a decision I made, so I'm not completely against digital. But this just, it makes me wonder, are they really not shipping enough, or is something else going on? So there's, I had a lot of replies on here. Jake Randall said Target had a lot, and I've been hearing like depending on the the area of uh, the U.S. you're at, you know, some people are saying that their stores had a bunch. Some people are like they only had a couple. Around me, pretty much nobody had a copy. It, it was crazy. Uh, most like this is what mine says from GameStop, Super Nintendo. Might poke around tonight and check if I can actually find it locally. Awaiting product availability. At GameStop, yeah, uh, Mr. Mario, most likely I didn't get a pre-order and no one has it in stock. I'll just wait so I don't want to pay the scout price. Yeah, look at this. I was looking on uh, eBay. People, $80, $90. Somebody bid on this, 60 bucks. The game's only $40. It just came out today. People are bidding over what they're worth. This is, to me, it's just ridiculous. $66. People charge 70 to 90 bucks, $100. Is that for multiple copies? Look, you could get a, a Korean version for $43.90. <laughs> Why not? I, I just think this is kind of crazy. I don't know if any has sold. Let me see if uh, if there's any sold listings here. 70 bucks, 90. Oh my God. Like, 
after fees, they're profiting. They're still profiting a little tiny, you know, they're profiting like maybe 20 to $30, maybe 40 bucks, depending on how much they got for. This is crazy. People are paying this the day it came out because they can't find it. I, I saw another comment on my post here. Um, I, I don't know who it was, but somebody said like maybe it, it's it's being shipped with Kirby, the uh, Return to Dreamland Deluxe, which comes out at the end of this week. So maybe stores will start having more availability then because it is kind of weird like, oh, a, a, a Nintendo game in the middle of the week and then another game at the end of the week, Octopath Traveler 2 comes out at the end of the week. But there's a lot of releases at the end of the week, and then this one was right in the middle. So maybe some places it's delayed. I wouldn't jump at those scout listings. Like, I, I would just, you know, wait. But it does seem like something something's crazy going on. A lot of people are having a luck with Best Buy pre-orders and whatnot. Was able to pick up at Walmart. Uh, canceled Amazon order. F Digital, my target order arrives Friday. If someone needs a physical Metroid and my delayed Amazon order ships, I'll sell it at cost plus shipping. Amazon UK order still shows 3rd of March. Target delayed their order. I couldn't even find it on Target anymore. I don't know if they removed it or if my search just is not uh, finding it. It's always funny when you bitch about Amazon and Amazon jumps in. We're sorry. Like, check out this uh, message center, the FAQ or whatever. Like, nobody asked. Yeah, a lot of people looks like they, they got there. This guy, Michael, Amazon pushed mine to April 3rd. There's plenty where I'm at. You're just unlucky. It's not just me. It's a lot of people. It's a lot of people. Um, what is this? Mine shipped and delivered. Which prime cover is better? Oh, I, don't, I don't know what's up with that. But some people are getting them. It's not like it's non-existent. I never said that. But a lot of people's have been delayed. Um, and it just kind of seems a little, a little wonky, a little crazy out there. I would just wait. More stores probably will have copies at the end of this week. Uh, wait on those Amazon orders. Don't cancel it. It looks like maybe it's possible that this release could wind up being one of those rarer ones where it's like, uh, you know, a limited print run, even though I don't think it's been stated that way. So I would just, I would just wait. Kind of sucks, but it, it is what it is. But I really do think there's this agenda to push like digital because then they don't have to worry about those manufacturing costs. Put that digital out and then release the physical later. I think this is going to wind up being a, a trend that we see happening more and more often going into the future, unfortunately. Uh, this is kind of a weird release. But, yeah, it, it just seems like it's hit and miss if you could find it. And it's not like, you know, whoever said, oh, you're just unlucky. I'm. It's not just me. There's a lot of people saying that they can't find copies. And to see all these being sold today... Today, on release date, all of these being sold on eBay, looks like there's a lot of listings all for well over retail. That tells you something. That tells you something. Did this, why does this say new other and there's cartridge? Or, I don't know, whatever. They opened it and was like, yeah, I don't want this. But hey, $45, uh, that's, hey, free shipping? Okay, <laughs> I guess. But most of these are well over retail. And this person's selling save data. I don't, I don't get that. Whatever, man. I know people do that with like Pokemon and whatnot. But yeah, this it's going on and on. Just I am keep on scrolling here and all these sales. I think it's nuts, man. It's crazy. But yeah, just uh, try to be patient, I, I guess. I, I think this is, is a little weird, but it always happens. I just can't believe this many people are paying for the game, uh, overpaying for it through eBay. These people paid like, wow, they, these listings are going back like last week. Last week, people were willing to pay more? What the hell? Let me know what you guys think. Did you get a copy? Appreciate y'all. Bye.